beauties, it's me, Allegra. I'm hopping on today with a new ColourPop collection, 2023, although this is a collection that they had before, and I do believe that they are here for round two, so they have brought it back. It is, I just took a peek though, it's not the same palette. I was worried, I said, is this the first? The same as the first palette, but it's not. It, I'm pretty sure it looks different to me. But it is the ColourPop Sailor Moon collection. And I know so many of you beauties love the last collection. I know I loved it myself. And I could have sworn that the prior palette in the collection from ColourPop was sort of more vibrant shades. And these ones look more pastel. So look at how gorgeous, oh my goodness. I can't, I'm living for this. So ColourPop was good enough to send me a bunch of goodies from this collection to play with. I have some lips here. I do have some highlighters, although first time ever, the highlighters did not arrive in place. <laughs> they're, they're broken is what I'm trying to say. So unfortunately, I will try the, the best that I can. And I know Kim was saying that there is a way that you can, I believe, add some water and you can kind of repress it and put the powder back together. So hopefully that is something that I can do once I, you know, go, <laughs> once we're done chit chatting, I'll go try and do that and I'll try, you know, look up some videos or Kim, if you're watching, please link your, if you did a video about it or you have the info, please link it down below and we will share your video. Kim is awesome, you guys. Make sure that you're following her. If you're not already following her, she has amazing giveaways. She is such a great person. I love watching her videos. She does, I believe, Mask Monday. I know she does masks. Lots of amazing skincare reviews, and she's an amazing friend in person, so definitely check her out. Another great friend, you guys, Brooklyn. She is also a YouTuber, such an amazing friend, so supportive, and she is actually having a baby, so definitely head over to her channel, and I'll link Brooklyn down below, as well as Kim's channel, so you can check them out, because they're both amazing friends, so supportive, just such great gals to have in your life, great friends, great women, and so definitely check them out. I'll link them down below. So now let's just dive right in and play with this makeup booties. I, are you like me, but I'm a, per it's makeup, it's therapy for me. I need it, I need to play with it. I, <laughs> I haven't played with makeup like this. You know, played. I, thankfully I came, was able to come and chit chat and hang out with you guys, but other than, but you know, to sit and play with the makeup. I have not been able to do that. And I, I, you know, I need to, it's like feeds my soul. So <laughs> thank God I have you beauties though. At least I was able to chat chat cause uh, you know, some of you beauties might've seen, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get my P. Louise primer ready. I just love this primer so much. Although, you know, I, I used no primer the other day on my eyeshadow and I used, I'm gonna come back and show you guys. I used the ColourPop 1111 palette, no primer, it was so beautiful so you don't need a primer with you know these ColourPop eyeshadows uh but these look kind of uh pastel so sometimes with a pastel a primer like this one from p louise is going to help them to appear more vibrant and really pop and also i do have this hooding situation so with the hooding you know this p louise primer is a dream because it kind of acts it's almost like a glue <laughs> and it keeps the hooding in place so it's just amazing for that especially so here it is as you, as you can see i just used i hope you can see it. i actually used the tiniest amount and yet it's so opaque it's so it really is thick but it's great because it's definitely going to make everything very smooth on my eyelid and i'll even bring it out here towards my nose and then I'll blend that out more later, and then I'm just gonna take a little more. I mean, I literally used not even a pea size. I used a quarter of a pea size to get this much product. I've had this for so long, this P. Louise primer. Uh, I think I've had it for years. <laughs> just, I'm still not running out of it. Anyway, guys, okay, let's, I, this is my, again, my first time, but I haven't made a purple, or should I do blue? I haven't had a colorful eyeshadow look in so long, and my, my soul, my soul is craving it. This purple, okay, sometimes, let's just do purple and blue. Let's see what happens. So I'll start, actually, we'll, I'll start with, let's just play and have fun. So I'm going to mix the purple and the blue together and see, you know, see what happens. What, what could happen, what's the worst that could happen, right? So it's very soft. And oh, it's beautiful. Wow. 
Yeah, it did make a beautiful effect mixing the purple and the pink together. And then after, I just went straight in with the purple and, you know, deeper, lower in the lid space area. And it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. And then actually, I'm going to take the deeper purple in the palette. This is Girl Power. And I'll just smudge this on the lower lashes and then I'll buff it out. That is so pretty. And, I, you know, they, they did send also an eyeliner, a purple eyeliner. So I just want to try it. Although using the purple eyeshadow girl power as an eyeliner is beautiful. But I just want to see. Yeah, I actually like the eyeliner, the eyeshadow as an eyeliner better. Let me try this in the waterline. Oh, yeah, because this is very light. So actually in the waterline, this is gorgeous. And then I'm going to take some of Twinkles, which is this kind of pearlescent, opalescent <laughs> shade. And I'm just going to take a very small brush and just to see how it looks on the brow bone, the tear duct. Oh, that's really, oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Layered over the shadow. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It looks actually wet. <laughs> it's beautiful. And then I'm just going to take her Destiny and just buff out Girl Power. That's Girl Destiny is that first uh, purple-esque shade. It's actually like a periwinkle shade. It's so unique and so different. So I'm just taking that to buff out the dark shade Girl Power. So, okay, now I'm just going to, you know, I haven't been wearing lashes lately. I've just been wearing mascara. I love it. I actually do have on mascara right now. Um, you know, you could also add some liner, some liquid liner, although I love this because it looks very soft if you don't add lashes and liner and things like that and just leave it like this. It's very, it's a little bit more natural look. So I'm going to just, um, do a little face makeup and then I'll be back and we'll try out the lips and also the we'll try the highlighter powder but even though they're broken but we'll we'll make do we'll make do so i'll be right back so beauties i did wind up putting on the lashes because you know once you get to playing it's very hard to stop and you know i do love to wear lashes i was just wearing lashes the other day when i went out with my husband for dinner so i will you know i love i i was thinking you know what would i do if I was actually going to go out right now and how would I wear this look and I would put on lashes so I figured let's do the full glam effect. So now beauties I have here some more fun things to play with. So I do have again these pressed powder highlighters but they're they are broken. So I do have one here that is I believe a pink tone. So yeah one is like a purpley pink. It's, it's really broken though, but this one here is not as damaged, so maybe this will be a better option. This is a kind of a pearl-esque, a pink shade. So let me go ahead and try a little bit of this and see what we can do with it. Now I do have a powder like this at home, and it's so beautiful. It's actually gorgeous under the eyes as an under eye highlighter. So, hmm, this is... Actually, this turns blue, so it's opalesque. It has this blue-purple shift to it, so it's not really pink. So, that's nice, though. And then there's also a face gloss, which I've never tried a face gloss. This is Moon Crystal Power Face Dewy Face Gloss. So let's try some of this, and here it is. It's very... Do ooey dewy looks like slime and um it's very uh dewy no can't think of another word but let's go ahead and try some of this with the with my fingers oh that's oh okay i was scared to put this on but this feels so good and that's beautiful so t like i said i was apprehensive but this is gorgeous wow and it feels so good i was afraid also because i do have a lot of powder on my face I thought, is it going to break up under, you know, break up the makeup, but it didn't. It didn't disturb the makeup. So that's really nice. Let's just try some of this on bare skin and see what it will do because it's it feels so good. It's very gel-like and actually, oh my God, now my face, what happened? It looked good a minute ago and now I'm like, what, girl, what's happened? 
what is happening. Oh, I must have put two. Or, you know, you gotta work. You can't just put it on and leave it. You gotta come back and kind of blend it. When you work with this product, the face gloss, you just have to blend it in, but then it looks so youthful and so beautiful, like a beautiful glow to your skin. Now, to your skin. Now, I do have a few here to choose from. So there's this beautiful pink shade, and then there is a nude. And I always love nude, but you know, purple and pink looks so good together and then there's these kind of toppers this blue holographic i bet this will look gorgeous and then there is a white a uh, more opalesque one which you know this is normally what i would reach for right here the nude and the the opalesque so i guess that's what i'll do or should we try both let's maybe we'll try both we'll see if we can <laughs> if we can do that so i'm just going to put on a nude lip liner And then here is the nude colored ultra blooded lip from the Sailor Moon collection. So what do you beauties think of this lip combo? And now I'm gonna try the pink lip with the blue gloss on top. So wow, this is so beautiful. It's not, it's not, I was thinking it was gonna be too bright and too colorful, but it actually all just goes together beautifully. And then I'm just gonna pop some of this blue colored gloss on top. So let's see what this will do. It has gold reflex in it. And gold in a gloss is just so gorgeous because it just makes your lips look so big. This one is actually my favorite lip combo right here. This is gorgeous. I can't believe how much I love it. Wow. So beauties, this is the finished look. I had so much fun playing with these new ColourPop makeup goodies today. This new ColourPop collection 2023, the Sailor Moon collection. And this eyeshadow palette is beyond stunning. This lips, these lips, especially this lip though. I'm so shocked. I actually do like this one better. Everything is just, it is bright colored, but it's so more effortless than you would anticipate it just it's not too harsh so you know they're very wearable if you're not wanting to wear too bright of a color but these just wash out and blend out so beautifully that they are they're not too harsh if you ask me in my opinion i think they're absolutely gorgeous and this is definitely makeup that i feel comfortable wearing i would wear this anywhere and i feel good about myself because sometimes you know you play with makeup it's colorful but do you feel really comfortable in it sometimes i personally don't but I just have fun putting it on. But this is actually makeup I feel incredible in. I feel just so good about myself. I love everything here. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely be wearing these again, you know, in the future, date night, things of that matter. So times like that, not just parties, you know, I definitely wear this on date night and, you know, nights out and things like that. So anyway, beauties, let me know what you think of this collection. Have you tried it yet? Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your favorite ColourPop collection that has come out recently. There's so many good ones. The 1111 collection is amazing. I will be back and do a video because I used it the other day in my video, which was the Bergdorf Goodman uh, beauty event video. And I just thought the colors were so gorgeous i couldn't believe it so i'll be back and i'll do a little demo with that so i'll be back for lots more fun times beauties so i hope you beauties are all doing good i love you so much and remember stay positive and i will see you very soon bye love you